All right, so I just want to do this video just to do a little bit of catch up on, on everything. So a bit of bad news. Um, I got this back, I got this back a while ago and I noticed that the tang is bent. So I got it back from heat treatment and this is how I got it back. You can see that, let me see if I can get a better angle. Yeah, see, look, right there. So, and the problem with that is, so I want to send this back, but I, um, I had to wait like a couple weeks because I got sick and I had to do the whole quarantine thing just to make sure I don't get anybody else sick. But now that I'm fine, it's already been two weeks, um, I'm gonna send this off and see if they can straighten this out. But that's gonna take like like three weeks. So it kind of sucks uh, to, to have to go through all, through all of that once I already have the knife in hand. So, but whatever, it is what it is. Um, so far, like these past few days, I've been working on this thing. And this is the Vanex Bowie. Uh, this is the one that's gonna have the Vanex handguard. And I decided just to go all the way basically back here with uh, with the, what do you call it? The angle, the, the, the primary bevel. So the reason for that is, is I'm just gonna get this as crazy sharp as I can. I was gonna do just like a, a square here, kind of like, like this, but I decided to just just blend it in. This isn't gonna be sharp up until here. Oh, and my hands are dirty from working on this. So basically from here up, it's gonna be sharp. From here down, it's not. So the reason for that is I want as much strength as, as I can here um, in front of the, the my hand. And I also, I wanted to blend this in so it isn't just a, like a focal point for, for, um, for pressure, for, uh, for stress. Um, other than that, right now this is at 220 grits. I still have to do the the false edge on top, but I decided to go just about here for the false edge because when I'm when I grab onto this knife and put my thumb on the spine, this is as high as I can go basically, while, while still keeping my hand um, in in the in the handle. I mean, it, where the, where my hand's supposed to be in the handle, so. From here on up, it's gonna be sharp. And I still have to do the cutouts for for the hand guard. So I still got quite a bit of work on this thing to do. And uh, the last thing, and I'll try to put this up um, during this week. So I, um, I, I went over this with sandpaper and this is the, wow, what is this called? It's the Salt Series um water away no i don't know i but this is this is h1 steel and it's made by spider co and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna put a piece of uh, titanium on here and put it in salt water and just to see if this actually rusts so if anybody remembers or seen the other video i had on vanix uh thanks to galvanic corrosion this actually i mean Vanix actually rusted when I put uh, a piece of titanium up against it. So I just got to get a piece of titanium, sand it, sand this a little bit more maybe. Or maybe that's fine, actually. So I'm just going to sand both of them a little bit. This is how it looked originally. And then I'm going to just uh, use a rubber band and put it on here. I'll videotape it. And I'm going to leave it for a week and see if um, if this will actually rust. If it doesn't, then it beats out Vanix, which would be nuts. And then I'm gonna put actually a piece of annex once once that's done up against this and see which one causes the other to corrode basically and that that'll show me like a definitive answer if H1 is more rust resistant than uh, Vanix and I kind of think it is just from reading stuff I kind of think it is but uh, it's nice to to see for sure okay all right so yeah um, but yeah if you have any questions or suggestions let me know thanks.